Thank you for coming today. I'm Non Kawana and he's Keisuke Matsumoto. We are the researcher of Hitachi and research and development group. Today, I'd like to talk about the survey of several guidelines and designing build pipelines. This presentation title is Beyond Guidelines, Designing and Implementing Robust Build Pipelines. This is a today's summary. We focus on software supply chain security and survey the frameworks and design our build pipeline. First, we survey and review the open SSF, CNCF, and NISTO frameworks. Second, we compared each of the frameworks and proposed a build pipeline based on Fresca and modified to conform to the guidelines. So our pipeline design enabled to meet important frameworks such as NISTO's SSDF and OpenSSF Salsa. So first, we introduced guideline survey and designing and implementing build pipelines. Finally, we will show you a demonstration movie. First, we surveyed we have surveyed four frameworks, OpenSSF, SALSA, CNCF, Software Supply Chain Best Practice, and Security White Paper, and NISTO SSDF. We will briefly introduce each framework. First, OpenSSF, SALSA. As you know, OpenSSF is a cross-industry organization that brings together the industry's most important open source security initiative. And SALSA, Supply Chain Levels for Software Artifacts, is a set of incrementally adaptable guidelines for supply chain security. On this April 19th, the version of SALSA was updated from 0 0.1 to 1. This is the supply chain thread. The SALSA version 1 supported this area mainly about build thread. And the focus of SALSA is supply chain integrity and availability. And SALSA has three security levels build level 1, 2, level 3. As you see in this table, provenance is very important for SALSA. Provenance is information or metadata about how a software artifact was created. And it can be used to determine the authenticity of software artifact. Next is how to SALSA. SALSA published this table about builder and its potential SALSA level. This GitHub actions and Google Cloud Build is SALSA level 3. And the Fresca that we introduce later is SALSA level 2. And about provenance, SALSA published tool to generate and verify provenance. SALSA GitHub generator is a tool set for generating provenance for GitHub project. But its tool is generation only distribution and verification is not supported. So this SALSA verifier is a tool set for verifying provenance. It supports this tool and Google Cloud build provenance. So if you use GitHub Actions or Google Cloud build, you can use these tools for, for making provenance. Next is CNCF SDAG. SDAG Security Technical Advisory Group is a group dedicated to security. And SDAG has published two white papers, Software Supply Chain Best Practice and Security White Paper. First, Software Supply Chain Best Practice is a supply chain specific guideline. It describes more than 50 ways to improve security in the cloud-native software supply chain. 
And the fresco is based on this this practice. I will briefly introduce these four key principles crucial to supply chain security from executive summary. It is mm, every step in supply chain should be trustworthy and automation is critical to supply chain security. And the built environment should be clearly defined and added authentication mechanism is very important for supply chain security. Next is security white paper. It's a guideline for cloud native security. It is cons comprehensive guidelines for cloud native application security. And this paper classifies software development lifecycle in to four categories, develop, distribute, deploy, and runtime. And I introduced security recommendation, one security recommendations of each categories. In the category of develop, as code review is recommended. Code review before changing the code and the four as principle. In the category of distribute, encryption, signing, and verification is important. And in, in the category of deploy, verify image signatures and check security policy is important. And in the runtime, implement service mesh and encryption of storage is important. Next is SSDF. The SSDF is a framework that brings together several guidelines. The SSDF practice are organized into four groups. Prepare the organization, protect the software, produce well secured software, respond to vulnerabilities. And each practice is defined with these elements, practice, task, example, and reference. And in this reference, is 29 guidelines are differenced. And CNCF software supply chain best practice is included in this reference, but not SALSA. So this is a summary of uh, our survey's guidelines. SSDF, SALSA, and CNCF's best practice and security white paper. And this software supply chain best practice is included in SSDF reference. And security white paper has mapping table with SSDF. So these two guidelines is included in SSDF. So we thought SSDF and SALSA are important frameworks in supply chain security. Next is designing a build pipeline. To consider the necessary components of a secure build pipeline, we have created this table. This table shows whether the CNCF guidelines and SALSA cover the SSDF practice. So using that comparison table, we examined the recommended configuration of secure build pipeline and defined it as a scope. So this is a PO prepared organization in SSDF, but it but we can implement in the build pipeline, so it's not our scope like that, create a new roles or provide role-based training. And like this, SSDF's PS protect the software is very, very important for a build pipeline, so all of this is in our scope. 
has to come is limited, so I skip this specific explain. And using this our scope specific, we has listed specific example reference to SSDF reference. Also, this as the term is limited, we will skip this this explanation. And uh, this is the uh, all summarized <laughs> requirements for SSDF and SALSA. In the development development environment, use automation tools and use builder certified by Salsa, like GitHub Actions, Google Cloud Build, and Fresca, and for the development environment recommendations. And the tools that should be implemented into the build pipeline is signatures on code, containers, and data, and the code review tool, generate SBOM, provenance tool, and vulnerability vulnerability scan tool. And we should store and publish of software related data like that SBOM and provenance. And scanning and verification of OSS before use is very important. So all of these requirements we will we have implemented the build pipeline based on Fresca. So next is implementing robust build pipeline. Uh, hi, this is Keisuke Matsumoto. Uh, previous part, uh, Kawana-san uh, gave, gave the survey of some uh, frameworks and guidelines. And our scope, our scope, our scope was brought into shape and uh, our build pipeline was designed. Here, uh, in this part, I'm talking about uh, our build pipeline frameworks, example, and architecture. So our pipeline, our pipeline, our pipeline is based on Fresca. Here, uh, I briefly introduce about Fresca and Tekton. Uh, fa first, I briefly introduce about Fresca. Uh, what is Fresca? Fresca is a build pipeline that OpenSSS, the supply chain integrity working group, participates in developing. Uh, Fresca is also reference implementation based on GNCF's software supply chain best practices. Fresca requires Kubernetes. Uh, Fresca, uh, Fresca uh, can be configured the following tools, uh, li like this. Uh, first, uh, te Tekton. Uh, Tekton is uh, CI-CD pipeline tools. Sigstore. Uh, Sigstore can sign attestations and SBOMs. Biffy Spire can identity build workload. Vault uh, is a secret management. Uh, you can you can store uh, a secret. Next. I introduced about Tekton. Uh, Fresca is using Tekton as pipelines. What is Tekton? Tekton, uh, Tekton is CI pipeline, pipeline developed as a Kubernetes native CI CD solution. Tekton can configure a pipeline which can build, test, and deploy applications on Kubernetes clusters. Tekton is a part of CD Foundation, which is one of the React Foundation projects. 
Yeah, I introduce I introduce about uh, main cons main components of Tecton. First, Tecton pipelines. Tecton pipelines is a building block for CI/CD workflow. Uh, Tecton Tecton pipelines uh, pro provide uh, Tecton's key function such as Tecton tasks and Tecton pipelines. Second, Tecton triggers. Tecton, tr Tecton triggers is a Tecton triggers are event trigger function for CI/CD workflow. For example, uh, developers push or and push a commit to GitLab or GitHub repository. Uh, then Tecton triggers uh, detect push event and uh, execute your pipeline. Third, Tecton chains. Uh, Tecton chains can observe, can observe the Tecton pipeline executions and take snapshots, generate, store, and assign provenance. So uh, next, I'm talking about our build pipeline framework. Uh, this, this figure shows our build pipeline image. Uh, the, uh, the left hand side of this table shows pipeline steps and descriptions. And the right hand side of uh, this table shows uh, Frameworks, uh, which which conform conform to uh, e each each step. One, a uh, step one, code management and re and review, re review. Uh, we should manage we should manage source code and review code to mi mitigate vulnerabilities during development. Second is CI tools. Third is builder. We should automatically build and test, test source code using secure build tools. Fourth, artifact management. We should create s bombs and provenance and manage artifact such as container image, and so on. Fifth, vulnerability scan. Uh, we, we should scan and de detect, detect vulnerabilities continuously. Finally, finally uh, signature, uh, we should sign provenance and code, publish and store them. So our pipeline can be realized uh, using using the uh, following tools in in this table. So I I explain I, I explain these tools. Uh, I you I uh, we we use uh, we use GitLab as code management. So, so SonarCube, uh, SonarCube can review our source code. Uh, we, we use Tecton as a CI tool. Canico is a builder. So we, we can we can build a container image using Canico. And uh, uh, the container image can be stored to Docker registry.
so we we can uh, uh, as shift, we, we can use shift as uh, s form generate generate to uh, we we uh, shift shift scan shift scan scan uh, our container image and generate generate s form from the container image uh, then S then the S form can be scanned by gripe. Gri gri then gripe detect uh, can detect vulnerability. Uh, so la last last step uh, signature signature uh, so sorry uh, uh, signature. Uh, we use. We, we we use text on chains to create create provenance uh, gen generate provenance. Uh, this provenance uh, can be signed by six store. Uh, so our our provenance can can be record on local local environment local env environment uh, using record okay so uh, he here uh, let us touch on main tools so I I'd like to re review uh, one, of, one of the main to one of the main tools is sonar cube. Uh, so Solar Cube is a source code review tool to inspect code quality continuously. Solar Cube uh, su supports more 30 different programming languages. Solar Cube can detect bugs, special code, and security vulnerabilities. SolarCube can integrate into your continuous integration pipeline, uh, pipeline of DevOps platforms. Actually, SolarCube is an available task on Texon pipelines. So you can use, you can use SolarCube task YAML file on Git, GitHub. Therefore, we select SolarCube for our pipeline. So Solar Cube is uh, feasible uh, for for our pipeline. Next, uh, we we review Shift and Gripe. So Shift is Shift. Wha what is Shift and Gripe? Uh, Shift is S form generated to gen S, S form generated to, and Gripe. Vulnerability scan too. Let us consider the following process. Th this process. So, uh, you you prepare a artifact uh, such as Docker image, uh, archive, and so on. Uh, then shift can scan. Uh, this artifact and generate generate S bomb from this artifact. Uh, thi this S bomb can be scanned by gripe. Uh, then gripe gripe uh, detect can detect uh, vulnerability on uh, for artifact uh, you can you can use you can use different formats such as cyclone dx spdx shift specific format you can use and shift supports os package 
and a different language package. So shift and gripe is uh, uh, available at GitHub. You, you can use, so the, uh, uh, this URL, so from this URL. So next, I'm talking about our pipeline architecture. So our pipeline, our pipeline, as our pipeline can be executed the following following steps. So first, our developer push or commit to GitLab repository. Then, text on triggers can can detect uh, push event and execute the, the following our pipeline. Uh, thi this is our pipe this is our pipeline. So step one uh, clone rep repo task. Uh, this task is uh, this is this task is uh, at this task clone uh, our source code from GitLab repository. Next, SolarCube scanner. This task, this task scan our source code using SolarCube. Uh, thi this this task is this task uh, this task builds build a container image uh, using Canico and Docker file. And uh, th this task, this task is using Sifto and Gripe. So this task generate SVOM and th this task this task can scan vulnerabilities. Last task is deploy uh, deploy to cluster. Each of each of the tasks generate artifact. Then these artifact can be stored to metadata store. Uh, this one. Finally, uh, text on chains, text on chains generate provenance about uh, build build process. Then, six store, uh, six store sign our provenance. Then, uh, our provenance and attestations can be stored to metal store. Okay. Here, uh, when when we assemble a pipeline, uh, we encounter the the issue. Uh, it it is Docker rate limiter issue. So. Uh, as you know, Docker Hub limits Docker image downloads on Kubernetes port. Why happen? Because so uh, we, we, we use an environment with a shared outbound IP address. So to, to, address, to address this problem, uh, we we share Docker login credentials as a Kubernetes secret with each pod. Uh, th this way, uh, this way allow us uh, allow us to pull pull image from Docker Hub. 
so you you can you can pre-image. Uh, you can you can also distribute you can also uh, distribute IP address as an option to to solve this issue. So here uh, we we show demonstration video. Okay. So we configure a GitLab repository and uh, sa sample repository uh, we, we configure. Uh, th this is a web hook. So I, uh, I execute push event test. Then, okay. So then, uh, text on trigger det detect uh, this push event and execute pi our pipeline. Uh, then, so the result of the execution uh, can be checked. Uh, this command. Uh, this command is a text on command. So le let's start. So no now, uh, Chrome Rev task, uh, Chrome source code, uh, this from this repository. The so sorry, skip. Ah, uh, so execute uh, this task execute scan source code using SonarCube. Uh, this is SonarCube task. SonarCube task was finished. Next, uh, Canico, Canico builds a container image from Docker file uh, in our our GitLab repository. So ne next, shift can scan this container image and generate the S bone. So uh, this task was uh, finished. Uh, ne next, uh, gripe. Gripe scan S bomb and detect vulnerability. So okay. Last. So last task deploy to uh, deploy to cluster. 
okay so back uh, back a solar cube task so then uh, so uh, so this uh, you, you can find the result of scan scan scanned at this URL so let let's click your so you you can check the result of of scanning uh, scanning okay next so uh, we, we can obtain s s form and provenance okay so we we show So we, we can, you, you can obtain a uh, spawn uh, to J JSON file and pro provenance and pro provenance to JSON file. So we, uh, we, we show uh, di this file, spawn file. So uh, di this one, this one is spawn, uh, spawn file as a J JSON file. So you, you can store information, uh, pa pa package information, and pa version, license, and so on. Uh, also, we, we can obtain uh, provenance at JSON file, at uh, this one, li like this. Uh, thi this this JSON file uh, represent uh, build process using Canico. So you, as you can see, uh, you you can check uh, build process from this file. So, okay. Okay, F finish demonstration. Last, in summary, uh, we, we, we our presentation was closed. Thank you. Other question? Oh, okay. Ah, then. Okay. So, uh, your question is uh, mm, business plan. Yes. Uh, uh, in this pipeline, are uh, you using this pipeline? Yes. Uh, so, 
I, I'm not sure. So mm, uh, we 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 so we don't think. <laughs> Thank you for your question. It's a, uh, we've just started this research, so we will propose that to our company. <laughs> so it's not sorry the business plan. Yes. Thank you. Ah, okay. Ah, stop, stop. Ah, so sorry. <laughs> ah, say thank you.